Hey, what's good, BT Gang? And we back with another banger, man. Thank y'all so much for tuning in once again. I'm BT, and welcome to BT Sense, man. Today, we got an exciting, exciting list, man. Summer is coming up. And my favorite, favorite clone house just happens to make a lot of summer, you know, dupes of popular fragrances. So today I've been experimenting and we're going to talk about personally my top 10 favorite summer Alexandria fragrances. So uh, this video is going to be really, really valuable to me because, you know, niche fragrances can get expensive as well as some designers. Um, Especially when it comes to summer scents. I find it hard to splurge on summer scents because I doubt I want to spend a lot of money on just smelling fresh and clean you know like a deeper you know maybe like uh like niche scent in the winter fall time okay i can see that but like as far as freshies go i find it harder to spend more money on freshies man i let me know what y'all think about those especially when you consider freshies don't particularly have the longevity as well as other fragrances so yeah um as far as these go these are my favorite uh from the whole line of alexandria house and they're from order uh, in order from 10 to 1. So we can go ahead. We're going to start with a uh, sparkling bergamot, man. This And this sounds exactly what it is, man. This is a, a dupe from, uh, I think it's bergamot 22 from uh, La Labo. And this is what the bottle looks like. It sounds exactly, you know, how it is. It, it's, it's bergamot. It's a lot of citrus. I think there's some wood in this. It just smells so fresh and clean. I heard a lot of people in my comments say they use this as like an after gym fragrance or a gym fragrance. It's perfect for that. It's very inoffensive. Everyday wear, anytime wear. It's just very, very clean. Citrusy. It smells really, really good, man. And I never smelled the OG of this one, but I heard the OG on the last one, can, you know, is not the best and, and on the longevity department. And on this one, I mean, like, I get like five to six hours maybe. But like I said, this is a freshie at the end of the day, and I could have been anosmic slash nose blind, so maybe that played a part. But what I get from this is like bergamot, maybe some woods in the background. Maybe, I want to say some on Broxham, but I'm not sure. It has like that feel to it, similar to like a Black Panther or like a DR Savage, but, but maybe it doesn't have a Broxham. But this smells really, really good. Um, I can see this being a high compliment magnet uh, while it's, you know, longevity is in effect. I, like the first one to two hours, you could probably get a lot of uh, comments off this one, but this is at number 10, which doesn't mean it's a bad list. Let me keep in mind, I probably have around maybe 25 to 30 uh, Alexandria Summer Sense. So these being the top 10, that does not mean they're bad. Like number 10, this is still a great fragrance. You should definitely try it out. It's just not the top of the top of the top. So yeah, number 10, we got that sparkling bergamot. If you want a bergamot 22 dupe, you should go in that direction. So this one... Right here is called Isolo de Saratani, I think. De uh, Saratani. And this is a Elysium um, Roja, not Elysium, inspired by Isolo Blue by Roja Dove. They make Elysium. I wore this one time. I wore a couple sprays. You can see the dent is not too big, but I did wear this one time. This is really, really good. I would say this is more of like a, the reason why I haven't worn it as much. I feel like it's a. It's an everyday scent, but I think it's it's upscale. It's um uh, it's professional. It's um it's businessman like. It's citrusy. It's it's a serious business like, and uh I tend to gravitate to more juvenile scents. But man, this stuff smells good. This is grown man smell good right here. This is not like little kid, you know, do your thing, walk around and not have a care in the world. This is a dude that has like his his shirt unbuttoned. He's on a yacht. He has sunglasses. Um, he's wearing like maybe boy shirts or flip flops or something, but this is good stuff, man. This might even be better than Elysium in my hum humble opinion. Like it still has the same, like, I think Elise, uh, Roja Dove does a good job of, you know, including like, uh, hardy notes or well, hardy notes are to me are like vetiver and like, uh, this denser notes into fresher scents. And I feel like that's interesting when a lot of people go the opposite route rather than just doing citrus and woods and maybe like. Uh, ginger or something like but they actually put a lot of ingredients into their dna's and i think alexandria i never smelled the og but i think alexandria did a good job of like executing this because this smells amazing the longevity on it is pretty good as well seven hours on a freshie is great and it's duping a very very expensive fragrance and uh isolo blue so yeah number nine we got a uh, isolo isolo dia serotonin i'm so bad at pronouncing these uh names but at number eight, this is going to shock a, a lot of y'all, man, because a lot of y'all would tell me to pick this up. I did. I enjoyed it. But it's just at number eight for now, man. This is Hawaii Volcano Intense. This is a Creed uh, Virgin Island Water dupe, I believe. This just literally smells like a vacation. If you want to go on vacation, 
I don't see a better scent than this. This is like coconut. This is like rum. Oh, man, it, it just smells like vacation in a bottle. And I went on a record, my first impressions, and I said that this personally smells better than, uh, what is that? JPG Le Bole Parfum. And I like it better than Amber Oud Gold Edition as well as the Herba Pura from Jerjoff. So this 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 is good stuff. It smells good. Longevity is not, you know, the greatest, but, you know, maybe with maceration. And also, you got to keep in keep in count, like, with these sample bottles, the longevity might not be that good because the sprayers are ultimately smaller and they distribute, you know, in different portions, as, as you could say, like a regular full bottle from Alexandria. So maybe that's what I need to do. I don't want to buy full bottles, but maybe I'll get a better idea of the longevity aspect if I actually use the actual sprayer. But it, it performs okay, like I said, six to seven hours. Um, like I said, it's a vacation coconut and rum type smell. Smells fun, inviting, it's uplifting, it makes you happy. It is, you know, like whenever I get a whiff of this when I wear it around, I'm just like, man, like I just smile. So this is a really, really good dupe of a, a Creed Virgin Island water. Never smelled that one either, but this makes me really happy and I love smelling it. Actually, I have smelled it at Saks. I did smell it. And this is very, very close. Sorry about that, y'all. I was thinking about Green Hours Tweet. But uh, yeah, this is this is very this is very very good. It's very very close. I would say like ninety to ninety five percent close to that Creed Virgin Island water. So if you want that, and it's probably performs better than that as well. So because it is an straight dip parfum, all of these are straight dip parfums. But yeah, that's Hawaii Volcano Intense ten nine. That's a number eight. All right, y'all. Number seven. This one is very very interesting to me because I just threw this one in with uh, I think two hauls ago. This is my Louis Vuitton dupe haul, and this one is Orchestra. This one is orchestra. I forgot what it's duping though. Orchestra. This is this is a Louis Vuitton dupe. It's oh symphony. It's, it's duping symphony. And an interesting thing about this one, y'all, it just does something that I never, you know, even thought of. But it just succeeds so much. It's like it's a grapefruit and ginger and this fragrance that just makes it just pop and sparkle. And it's like it can do anything you want. And I'm kind of tempted to switch out the order of this because now that I'm thinking about this, man, this might be one of my favorite Louis Vuitton fragrances. If it wasn't for... Oh, man, the smelling this stuff. This is good, man. It, it The ginger and, and bergamot, I mean, grapefruit in this is just... And I believe it's woods in the base, but this is a high compliment magnet. This is a versatile fragrance. I believe uh, Louis Vuitton does a good job with the versatility on their fragrances. It's just the fact that they're like $400, $300 for a freshie. That's, that's kind of tough, man. Coming from a designer house at that, that's kind of tough, man. But when you can find good quality like this and it replicates it pretty, pretty well with, with added, excuse me, added performance and better bang for your buck, how can you say no to this quality, man? This, uh, this Symphony dupe is very, very good. I love it. I'm probably going to get a full bottle. I'm trying to hold off, but this, it's, it just... It smells elegant. This is unisex as well, in my opinion, man. This is definitely unisex, as well as Hawaii Volcano. I think that is unisex as well. But this, man, this, just get it. This, just try it out. Get a sample set. Try this out. Get a whole bunch of Louis Vuitton scents and try them out. I think Alexander does a great job on Louis Vuitton scents. Hence why we're going to see a lot more of them later on in this list. But this is the first one on the list. This is a dupe of Symphony from Louis Vuitton. This is Orchestra, Ginger, and uh, Grapefruit. That's all you need to know. It smells sweet, explosive, and it's just... It's head turning. It's like mind boggling. All right, y'all. This is going to be a, a controversial opinion right here. So 10, 9, 8, 7. At number six, we got Alexandria Visionary, y'all. We got Visionary. This is a clone of Louis Vuitton's beloved Imagination. Now, everybody thinks Imagination is the best one. You know, they think that they think, they think that's the I think that's the universal favorite Louis Vuitton fragrance because it's known to have the best performance. It's, um, you know, it's, it's versatile. Um, everybody loves it. You know, it smells clean. It smells like soap to me. It has a tea note in there as well. But, you know, I, I like it a lot. I, lo I actually love it. But it's just, in my opinion, there's more Louis Vuitton fragrances that don't get the love that they deserve that are above this one, in my opinion. Now, I can see why this is, you know, number one, because this is mass appealing. I can't see anybody not liking this. It's just so clean and fresh and soapy. And it's, it's universally loved. So... This, in my opinion, this is more of a spring fragrance too, but it definitely can be rocked in the summer, no problem. It can, it does have a bit more body than the typical freshy, I will say, but it can definitely be rocked in the summertime, hence why it's on this list. I love Louis Vuitton Visionary. I mean, Louis Vuitton Imagination is very, very good. It's just, like I said, it's, it's ones that I like more personally, but if you're just looking for that perfect 
one fits all, like one shoe fits all occasions, then I think Visionary is probably going to be the one for you because it does everything well. You just, you can't go wrong with it, man. So yeah, Louis Vuitton, uh, Imagination Dude, Visionary. That was kind of quick and self-explanatory because yeah, I'm pretty sure y'all know everything about <laughs> Imagination already. But this one right here, man, this is number five on the list. And if I'm going too fast, y'all, I apologize. I'm going to try to slow down on these top five and get them more of a spotlight. But y'all know about this one, man. This is Alexandria Fragrances Africano. It's a dupe of Barreto's Ball Dial Freak. Now, um, if you follow my channel for a while, you know I went to Saks a while ago and the lady was just trying to get me to buy something, just putting stuff under my nose. And I closed my eyes and she put uh, Ball Dial Freak under my nose and I lost my mind. I, 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 I couldn't, uh, I just... It was mind-boggling, like the watery like texture and the citrus blast. I think there's an African orange blossom in it. It just like the just the organicness and the naturalness of the smell just just got me. And I and I bought a decant off Decant X and I liked it. It was just the longevity wasn't doing it for me, man. Like I couldn't like it smelled beautiful, but the longevity was horrendous. Like maybe three to four hours, but it was horrendous, man. So I did some research. I cop this Africano and I like it a lot. It has the same musky, like woody, citrus, aromatic, like feel. But, you know, I feel like it's mix it's missing. And maybe that's a part of the fact that of this being an extracted parfum and the body of freak being an EDP. But I just feel like the just the watery natural feel was kind of lost through the maybe the perfume concentration and the texture was kind of changed a little bit but it smells very similar it smells good it still has that citrus blast i don't think they use an orange uh, african orange blossom i think they just use a regular orange blossom i mean it's not one to one i, I believe this is like 85 percent maybe but it smells so so good man and the longevity is a lot better on this too so I, if i have to trade off some accuracy for some longevity I'm fine with that. And that's hence the why I got a, you know, a bigger bottle of this. This is an everyday type of scent, every single season type of scent. I wear this stuff all the time. Uh, it does well for me in the compliment department. I know a lot of y'all care about that. Um, this fits everything. This fits everything very, very well. Like I said, it's not 100% accurate, but it does enough for me to the point where I like it. I like wearing it. And it's one of my favorites, man. So, yeah, number five, we got Alexandra Africano. It's a dupe of Barreto's Ball Dial Freak. All right, now this next one is a new, another Louis Vuitton dupe. It actually surprised me a lot because I wasn't expecting to like this more than uh, than Orchestra or Visionary. But this one is uh, Le Meteor. And I think it's dupe in Meteora of Louis Vuitton. Now this one is, is I feel like this is the, the dark, the hated middle child. You know, if you're a middle child, you know what I mean. You used to be the favorite, but you got moved to the side by the younger sibling. Now I feel like everybody just, you know, nobody wanted to get this one's attention because... It, it smells like I think it has similarities to Calvin Klein one. I think it does. It doesn't smell of a high price tag, but it's it's so good at what it does. It's like blue. It's just easy going. It has, has some woods in it as well. Let me go ahead and go through the notes for this one because this one always caught my mind. You got some nutmeg in it, some orange, some bergamot, and it has a little sweet cardamom and a roly that gives it like that laundry type feel, almost like lavender. But I'm gonna say it's completely lavender. And you can get that pink pepper. And also regular like black pepper to give it some spiciness. But I just like how it it, it kind of, in my opinion, it combines imagination and um, imagination and another fragrance that's coming up next on this list. And it just combines it into one. And it's like you get the best of both worlds. You get like the body from imagination. You get the citrus from, uh, I'm going to just go ahead and say it, Pacific Coast. And it's like, it's perfect. It's like combining the one. It just it just takes out the best from both of those fragrances, and it just it's so simple. It's so easy. It will probably smell more familiar than a lot more Louis Vuitton fragrances. This is probably the most commonly smelled like DNA out of all the LVs. But it, it's simply common and good because it's it's good at what it does. It just works, man. It's just so if you're looking for an everyday type of scent to wear to the office that's inoffensive and you know it's not going to project as much as imagination would and it's going to be more dialed back and smell more common and just be like a, a more regular like blue like freshy then i think this is the blue fragrance of louis vuitton this is meteor i love this stuff though i love it i'm contemplating all these louis vuittons man i'm contemplating getting a full bottle of because mm, 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 mm. personally honestly that I can say that, that can go unisex, in my opinion. 
Maybe it can't. It might have some uh, some uh, male. Actually, I, th- I think I'm, I'm going to keep it. I'm going to keep it. This smells like a male fragrance. It smells like a male fragrance. But at the end of the day, you can wear what you want to wear. But yeah, this is really, really good, man. This is at number four on the list. We got La Meteor. All right, at number three. See, this one is special to me because it lived up to the hype. It lived up to the hype. I knew it was going to be good, and it delivered and gave me some more, man. This one right here. So this is Sashuan T right here. Sashuan T. I can't. I forgot what it was actually do, but I know it was Nijane. Oh, Wulong Cha. So this is Wulong Cha from uh, Nijane, but this isn't the regular Wulong Cha. This is Wulong Cha X, man. This is Wulong Cha X. I see a lot of people say that Wulong Cha leans a little bit too much feminine, but this one has a little bit more. I think it's they add like magnolia to it or something like that. But it's, it has the fig, it has the musk, it has the mandarin orange at the top, the bergamot, and the yuzu. Now, Louis Vuitton is a, a green tea fragrance. I agree tea, a tea fragrance. Uh, Creed Silver Mountain Water is a tea fragrance. This right here, y'all, and I said this in my first impressions, y'all thought I was crazy. This is the best tea fragrance on the market that I've smelled. Like this, the way the tea pops in this is completely unisex as well. It, it it is just so clean and so like friendly and inviting. This is like I just picture a picture a smiley person wearing this with like vibrant colors on, just like you know giving people hugs and saying hey hello how are you doing? And maybe it's that fig and I wish the fig and uh initio uh what's the is it psychedelic love? No, it's initio uh. What's that initial, the vintage radio clone? I can't think of it right now. Y'all probably know what I'm talking about. I wish the fig was more executed than that, like this was, but this is just, this is beautiful stuff right here, man. I know a lot of people going to say this is like old lady, like feminine. I love it. I love it because it's so different. A lot of tea fragrances don't execute it as well as this one is. The longevity on this is amazing. I literally, I was outside. I was walking to work. It was for 15 minute, 20 minute walk. I was walking. I got rained on, y'all. I got rained on. Came into work. People still smell me. like, And I still smell myself. I was shocked. I'm like, oh, man, I got rained on. My fragrance is gone. No, this thing stuck. It smells so good. It smells so, so such high quality, too. It is just very, very nice to have in your collection. This when you want to be different. And have something different and smell clean and still, you know, smell good at the same time without going too, too deep into that niche hole. So this, this, this DNA, it just works, man. It just works. I love wearing this stuff. I love smelling it. It's just soothing. It has that lavender effect where it's just like when I smell this, it just makes me relax and chill out. Like this is just inviting and fun and fresh, man. So yeah, Sichuan tea is a dupe of Wulong Cha X from Nijane. Please check this one out. It's also, I think Nijane sells it as an extracted parfum. So I don't think the concentrations got mixed up or anything i think it's gonna be pretty pretty close to the og haven't smelled the og but at this point do i really need to all right y'all and number two we got the top two man these are the heavy hitters if y'all know me y'all know which ones these are man so and this is always an argument for me and myself and it's like internally i'm like which ones do i pick woke up this morning number two on the list is alexander's pacific coast which is a clone of louis vuitton's Pacific Chill. <sighs> when I first got this on my decant set, my Louis Vuitton set, I sprayed this on and I said, this is the one, y'all. This is the one, man. It's just, I never smelled anything like this in my life. Every time I open it up, I just smell it and it just makes me so happy. I can, listen, I can see a cat get hit by a car. And I can turn around and smell this, and I'll be happy. You know, that was kind of extreme. I, I, you know, just forget I said, I'm sorry. I, I'm sorry I said that. I, I didn't mean that. But you get my drift, y'all. I can just feel like I can anything can happen to me, and I can smell this, and I can be happy again. Like, it's, just, it's a fruity blast right here. It's all fruit. That's what you get. It has some sweetness to it, but the fruitness is just on top of the sweetness, so it doesn't become cloying whatsoever. It's fresh. It's nice. It's inviting. It's life of the party-like. Um... I think it smells like a good Gatorade. Like it's, I, I, I forgot the flavor. It's like a like a dark, deep orange, I think, or I don't know what the exact flavor is, but it just reminds me of that Gatorade every time I smell it, and it's in the best way possible, man. This is this is beach. This is L.A. This is Florida. This is Miami. This is just this is this is good stuff right here, man. I love it. Every time I wear this to work, somebody asks me what I have on. Like every time, like this this is one of those, man. 
where you just got it. When you wear this, you know something's coming. You know something's going to happen. You know something's going to pop off. This stuff is really, really good, man. So, yeah, number two, we got Alexandria Pacific Coast. And last but not least, and number one, we got the Bulgari Tiger clone. We got Alexandria Black Panther. Now, this one, why did I scream it like that? And anyways, this one is just uh, citrus, which is the grapefruit. It's woods and it's ambroxan. This stuff is a beast. Has that Dior Sauvage feel. Compliment magnet. It's, this is probably my most complimented Black Panther fragrance. I mean, Black Panther. Alexandria fragrance. It's, it's The performance is great. You might go a Nosmic, but I'm telling you, this stuff is going to push off, off of you every single time that you put this on. Every time I wear this, it's, it's, it's just, I love it. <laughs> just, I love it. It's so simple. But it works. And it's also different at that. Like, nobody really wears, you know, niche DNA. So this is a little bit different than your typical fragrance. Every time I go to California, I bring this with me. And it just, this is kind of my Cali fragrance. You know, like, it just it just does it for me. And I and I probably won't ever stop wearing it. I'm probably going to need a bigger bottle. As you can see, the summer has not even started yet. And I'm kind of lacking on this. So I'm going to probably get a bigger bottle of this. And for good reason, man. It's just never failed me. It works in every scenario, work, date, bar, club, daily life, errands, everything you need it for is going to do it for you. And you're not going to even have to apply it too much because it's really, really strong and it smells so freaking good. That grapefruit popping off. It, it, when I first got this, I thought it was a dream because this stuff was just so good to be true. But it's actually that true, man. And I, and I love it for it. And that's why it's number one on this spot, man. As much as I love Pacific Coast, I got to give it up for the king, which is Black Panther, man. So, yeah, y'all let me know what y'all top 10 Alexandria fragrances are, man. Y'all let me know if y'all gonna check any of these out. And if y'all have any of the OGs, y'all let me know if y'all love those as well, man. I really, really appreciate y'all watching. I hope y'all have a great summer. It is right around the corner. So, go ahead and go on y'all shopping halls and sprees. Spend some money. I'm just playing. Do it responsibly, y'all. I know this. I know how it is, but do it responsibly. But I hope y'all enjoy y'all day, man. Y'all stay blessed. Peace. Love y'all.